all animals. Big rats found in the Big Apple. Rats are growing bigger by the minute from feasting on trash outside a Chipotle restaurant in Brooklyn Heights. This has been witnessed by the fast food restaurant's fuming neighbors. According to the neighbors, Chipotle workers dump bags of garbage in front of the eatery at around 6 p.m. every day, and that gives the rats just enough time to eat before the garbage men arrive. One resident told the Brooklyn Daily Eagle that he sees four or five rats going back and forth from garbage to the building next door under construction, and he wonders how big the rat tribe has grown. One construction worker told the Brooklyn Daily Eagle that he spotted a giant rat that was bigger than a cat, or it was the size of a well-stuffed burrito. Gross. Chipotle's manager said the Ratzilla situation happened only after new construction at a nearby location started. The manager also said she has seen the giant rats biting through garbage bags and they are particularly aggressive to passers-by. Brooklynites are urging Chipotle to put its trash in rat-proof containers. Who knows, maybe it's only a matter of time before these giant rodents move on to their next target, humans. So to prevent that from happening, a company rep told the New York Post that they will start using secure garbage cans to keep these hairy monsters away. The Brooklyn Daily Eagle reports construction inspectors found signs of rats at the site back in 2015, but received a clean report just over a year later. The developer did not comment on the recent Redzilla incident. Just keep that thing away from me. <laughs> Woman finds rodent baked into Chick-fil-A sandwich. Been having a craving for Chick-fil-A? Probably not for long. A woman in Pennsylvania is taking the fast food chain to task after discovering an unwanted extra topping baked into her chicken sandwich. Yummy! Last November, 46-year-old Ellen Manfaludi and her co-worker were sitting down for their lunch break, courtesy of Chick-fil-A. When Manfaludi took a bite, she felt something funny, but figured the bun was just really badly burnt. It didn't take long for her to realize she just tasted rodent. Apparently, the whiskers and tail were what tipped her off. Horrified, Manfaludi had the bun sent in for testing, and sure enough, lab reports confirmed the sandwich bun consisted of a small mouse or rat that appeared fried. Her lawyer has since reached out to Chick-fil-A, but claims the company has only responded by referring him to its insurance company. Chick-fil-A's owner, Dave Heffernan, has stated he won't comment on the allegations while an investigation is underway. Manfaludi claims she's been having recurring nightmares and is now seeking $50,000 in damages for her pain, suffering, emotional distress, sleeplessness, anxiety, and PTSD. If you think she's got it bad, just imagine that poor little rat became his own last meal. So, you still craving Chick-fil-A? Didn't think so. The land of Ikea now has something new, Ratzilla. Thanks to the food waste generated by city dwellers, rats are now a major problem in the land of Ikea. Um, we meant Sweden. Just last month, a woman named Martina Gustafsson spotted two birds fighting over something unusually big at a park in Gothenburg. Gustafsson told Sweden's SVT that she first thought it was a rabbit, but turns out it was a giant rat. My, 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 would you just look at that. A pest control expert in Gothenburg later told SVT that he suspected the giant rodent to be about 10 inches long, and it's normal for brown rats. Well, this giant fellow certainly isn't the first find in Ratland. In 2014, a Swedish family in Solna, Sweden, rose to national fame after catching a giant rat with a rat trap. Oh, and the rodent survived. It's raining rats! From the E. coli outbreak in 2015 to the more recent norovirus scare in Virginia. Seems Tex-Mex chain Chipotle just can't catch a break. And now with rodents reportedly making an appearance at a store in Dallas, you might want to start bidding those burrito bowls goodbye. At least three rats were crawling around inside of Chipotle in Dallas's West End Historic District in what we can only assume was a quest to satisfy a mad craven for Mexican. The rat soon dropped in, falling from the ceiling and scaring the guacamole out of the lunch crowd. A video taken by a disgusted customer shows one rat lying limp while its companion scurries about, and another tries to frantically climb up a wall. Employees apologized and took the varmints away, and the rat's rear entry point was later spotted and repaired. Still, Chipotle's taking extra precautions, so the store has been temporarily closed for remodeling. On the bright side, at least the rats weren't cooking the meals. It might have been cute in Ratatouille, but in real life, that pesky rodent is going to get it faster than you can say Disney. Cheeky rat sneaks into incubator and takes a bite out of a premature baby. 
This cheeky rodent is about to get its comeuppance after sneaking into a hospital incubator and taking a chunk out of a premature baby. The public health catastrophe took place a couple of weeks ago at the dilapidated 40-year-old Western Regional Hospital in Belize, although the shocking video of the rat attack aftermath has only just emerged. Reports said that the ravenous rodent snuck into the incubator, whereupon he proceeded to take a bite out of the young child's toe. Alerted to the attack by the poor baby's cries, the shocked nurses then quickly removed the distressed infant from the incubator before dousing the offending creature with a can of Sheltox insect repellent. The game of rat and mouse then continues as the nurses try several times, unsuccessfully, to pull Ratatouille from the incubator before one of them finally manages to grab a hold of his tail. The nurse then beats the rodent to death with a broom handle. And in case you were wondering, the baby was discharged a few days later after receiving a clean bill of health. The same cannot be said for the hospital.